Here we go. Now it is time to talk about the real problem, okay? The title of this course is differential equation. So now we're gonna use Laplace transform to find uh, the solution curve of the uh, differential equation, okay? But look at this one, okay? This is homogeneous second order uh, linear differential equation with a constant coefficient and we have enough initial conditions, which means we can find the answer, I mean like, you know, solution curve uh, with a characteristic method, okay? But like you can double check with that, okay? Let me show, like, you know, let me show you how we can find this one by the character, uh, by the, like, you know, the method in chapter three, okay? Characteristic, R squared minus R minus two equals zero. Then use R plus one and R minus two equals zero. Then my R is negative one or two. Then I can say my solution curve is equal to a e to the minus t plus b e to the 2t and like whenever you plug in like you know your initial condition and you can find the answer okay but this is like you know what it learned so far okay but now as you like since we introduced like a new method and i'm going to show you how we can use the laplace transform to find this okay like in, for comparison uh reason like let me give you uh the answer for this one okay on the side then we can compare okay here we go oh. Since u0 was 0 and u prime 0 was 0, then your ut and your coefficient a and b can be find easily. It is equal to 2 third e to the minus t plus 1 third e to the 2t, okay? So we're going to compare this answer, okay? Here we go. Let me try to use Laplace transform. And like to use Laplace transform, you have to use only two of them, okay? The first one, you have to do lifting because we have like y double prime, right? And then after we do the uh, lifting, then we're gonna do the inverse slope transform, then you can get the uh, like, you know, solution curve, okay? Here we go, let me apply the Laplace transform first, on both sides, okay? Uh, let me write just, okay? Apply Laplace transform. Okay, then you're gonna have like this way, the Laplace transform of your y double prime minus y prime minus two y equal to Laplace transform of zero equals zero, okay? And since it's linear, we can write this left-hand side with three separated Laplace transform, okay? Then we know about this, okay? By lifting, do you remember the like you know this part? Let me write on the on the side like. But you have to memorize this, okay? Or you have to practice how you can find like from the table, okay? This is s square and s y s minus s of y zero and minus y prime zero, okay? Then um, we assume um, where um y t is equal to y s okay and what about this guy that is just simply s y s minus y zero right and this one is like you know y s s one right let me change everything in terms of y over s and this will be um s square y s minus s times y zero was zero uh, y zero is one right and minus y prime zero equals zero and minus s y s and plus y zero which is one okay and minus two y s equals zero and like take uh get all y s term together the y s and s square minus s minus two and then move like you know like everything else to the right hand side it is equal to uh minus s which is plus now and minus one everything so far then let me divide by like you know the coefficient of y s then your y s can be written by s minus one over s square minus s minus two okay this can be written by s minus one over um, s plus one and s minus two. Okay, then do the partial fraction, but that's really easy, right? 
we can set that equal to a over s plus one plus b over s minus two. Let me skip this part. Then anyway, like by the partial fraction, you will get um, one third over s minus two. Plus, let me change the order for writing. Is two third over s plus one and plus one third over s minus two. Is that clear? Then let me rewrite this one like this form because, like you know, I would love to show you how we can match with the uh, um, the table Laplace transform table. Okay. Then keep that in mind. You have to realize this one is number two on the table. And this is also number two, right? So, okay. Now the very last step, okay? Your yt, which is equal to inverse Laplace transform of ys is equal to um, uh, two third inverse Laplace transform of one over s plus one plus one third inverse Laplace transform of one over s minus two. Right, just compare with your uh, table to third, and that is exactly e to the um, minus t and plus one third e to the two t. That's it. This is solution. When you compare with uh, like characteristic method, that's exactly same thing, right? But it looks a little bit complicated. But keep that in mind. The characteristic equation case, like whenever your right hand side is um, zero, which is homogeneous case, or polynomial and sine and cosine, or exponential case only, right? But like, you know, this Laplace transform method can be used uh, used for the piecewise continuous function as well. So like, I, I can tell you, like, this is much more general method, okay? Thank you.